So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a countdown widget like this one into Notion. So the first thing that you'll want to do is head over to this website, indify.co. You do just need to sign up. Um, it is completely free and they don't really ask for many details. So you can just input your email address here or you can sign up with your Google account. So I'm just going to do the Google account option. So once you're signed up, you just want to scroll down and under the explore widgets option, you want to scroll down to volume two. And as you can see here, there is a countdown option. So you just want to hover over and click on the create widget button. Next, you need to give it a title. So I'm just going to call my countdown and click continue. OK, so this then brings you to the settings where you can set up the countdown widget. So the first thing we need to do is under event title, we're going to give it a name. So this is going to be whatever you're counting down to. So if it's your birthday or a wedding or a trip, you just want to type it in here. So as an example, let's say it's a countdown to your birthday. I'll type in 25th birthday. Next, you want to select the date and time. So it's just the date and time of the event you're counting down to. I'm just going to select a date. So as you can see, now that I've inputted both of these, it has updated the widget. So we have the title and we have the countdown. OK, so you can customize the actual countdown quite a lot. So if you have a look over here, there are various different toggles that you can switch on or off. So currently this one is saying it's four months, one week, two days to go. But if you'd prefer it just to have the total days to go rather than four months and one week, you can switch those off here. So as you can see, the month one is currently on and so is the week. So I'm going to switch both of those off. I'm also switch the year one off as well. So if you have a look over here, it's now updated and it says 131 days and 12 hours. So if you prefer to have it like this, you just want to leave the settings as day, hour, minute, second. Again, if you don't really want, for example, the seconds to appear, you can switch that off with the toggle. So you can see it's now 131 days, 12 hours, 10 minutes. Again, you can switch off minutes if you also don't want that, if you just want the days and the hours. It's really up to you. You can play around with the settings here to create the exact countdown that you actually want. OK, so if I just scroll down, there are a few more styling options. So, for example, you can switch off the to go or a go text. So as you can see on here, it says 131 days, 12 hours to go. If you just want it to say the time rather than saying to go, you can switch that off here. Next, we have the center text option. So it's currently centered. If I switch that off, this um, countdown bit has moved over to the left. So I'm going to keep it on because I quite like it centered. This one is also switched on. So this is the larger title. So you can see if I switch it off, the title is now smaller. Again, I think it looks better with the larger title. So I'm going to leave that on. You can also set a background color. So as you can see at the moment, there isn't a background color. It's just white. But if I toggle this on, I can now choose a background color. So if I look here under background color, I can select any color that I like. So they already bring up a lot of default ones that you can pick from, or there is a color palette up here if you want to choose your own. So I'm going to pick, for example, this blue color. OK, so as you can see, it's now updated the background. You can also change the text color. So again, let's just for as an example, pick this green color. So it's updated that you can also change the accent color. So that just changes the text for to go. So I think it looks better if it matches the rest of the text. So I'm just going to pick that same color there. So this is the one that I've chosen. The final option is to show a hover menu. So this is set to one. So this just means that when you have it in your actual notion, um, if you hover over it, you can click on a menu and you can show the customized options. So I'm going to leave that set on so that I can amend this within Notion later. OK, so once you're happy with your widget, you just want to go down here and click on this clipboard icon here and that will copy the link to the widget. So you want to navigate back over to Notion and then grab the embed block. So if you just type in the forward slash embed and then paste in the link that we just copied into here and click embed link takes just a few seconds, but then it will load. So here is your widget inside Notion. You can then play around with the sizing. So if there's too much background space, you can use these bars just to make it a little bit smaller like that. And that's it. That's the countdown widget. So this will update automatically. So for example, it currently says 131 days. So when you look at it tomorrow, it would say 130 days. Um, you don't need to do anything else. It will just automatically count down to your event. And that's it. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe. You can also check out my Notion templates on my Etsy store. I'll leave a link in the description box below.